uneven ground here. Let's see how, uh, no, not a very dry spot. It's beautiful out here. I don't come out here very often. <laughs> Back here to the Cat Cemetery. I planted a few uh, Those spring flowers that come out white. My Glückchen. Yeah. Oh, so we talked with uh, Martina yesterday about our mutual neighbor. And uh, We pretty much came to the conclusion that uh, he was a stoner, not a drunkard, but definitely a stoner. And for the most part, Martina found him to be very gentle and polite and pleasant. But his wife was more However, she found the story that I told pretty unsettling and appreciated me coming to her. And we all decided to take it one day at a time, see how things progressed, if at all, and if anything made anyone uncomfortable to consult with the other and then make a move because there are uh, RCMP here in Cambridge who could be notified if necessary. So uh, yeah, we're gonna take it there. Nowhere right now, but possibly somewhere if necessary. Yesterday, last night, the country went crazy and decided to uh, pay tribute to the supposed last concert of the Tragically Hip. Even, even Olympic programming was interrupted. We managed to avoid the interruption. But uh, one of the Olympic channels was taken over by uh, tragically hip performances. And many people stopped to watch that. We did not. <laughs> I remember the very first time I heard the tragically hip, their very first uh, big hit, back when I worked in Brantford. I was coming home one night and I heard this song. And I went, oh, what horrible song, what a horrible voice. Uh, how presumptuous, how full of themselves this band is. And I have maintained that oh, these many years. That was, oh, let's say 30 years ago. Yeah. No, I haven't changed my mind. And I don't think I'm going to. Just because the man is dying doesn't mean I have to think any differently of him. And you know that I, you know, I stick by those things. 
Okay, I'm going to go back to uh, my chair and my book and enjoy myself. Ta for now.